everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so if you guys can't really tell by the title of this video today i'm going to be eating foods that begin with the first initial of my name i really hope that makes sense this video has been done quite a few times but i've never you know jumped on the bandwagon and given it a go if you guys aren't familiar with me and my channel then my name is talia and today we're going to be eating the letter t which I feel like is a pretty good letter to use. I feel like there's a lot of foods with tea and a lot of good foods as well. So if you guys want to see what I ate today, then make sure you watch the rest of the video. And also if you guys aren't already subscribed, then make sure you do. We do so many fun challenges over here on this channel and it literally takes two seconds to subscribe. So go do it. And yeah, let's get into the video. Good morning, guys. So it is currently breakfast time. And for breakfast, I don't really know if this actually counts. The more I've been thinking about it, I'm thinking, does it count? But I guess it's my video. I get to make up the rules. So, for breakfast, I'm going to be having some toast. Now, the reason why I say this doesn't match up is because, obviously, toast is bread. And bread begins with B. But I'm going to say it goes. I'm going to have some toast. going to toast it in the toaster. And I was, I, I could have just been boring and just had, like, butter or jam, but I guess I don't really begin with tea. So I have some tin tomatoes. My only issue is that these are chopped tomatoes. You know, I think when people have tin tomatoes with their breakfast, it's normally like chunks, um, but we're gonna have to go with this. So yeah, let's go have some toast and tomatoes. Also, I will be drinking water today. You know, it's a human need, but I'm also gonna have a cup of tea this morning. So let's get going, because I'm starving. Hey guys, I have my breakfast here. I hope you guys don't mind that I put on a little bit of black pepper just for a little bit of flavor. However, the majority of this all begins with a tea and... Mm, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's gone a little bit soggy, which is quite interesting. I left my tea downstairs. I'll go get it after. Actually, CBA to go downstairs. I'm so hungry and I just want to eat my soggy. Look at this. My soggy toast with <laughs> chopped tomatoes on the top. Absolutely polish that off every single little bite. Not gonna lie though, still a little bit hungry. So I know for a fact that we have some tangerines downstairs, so I might go get one. Tea's a good letter. I'm not gonna lie. Like, obviously, I've had to pre plan what I'm gonna eat today because I need to go to Tesco. I'm going to Tesco as well. But yeah, obviously I need to go to Tesco and I have to plan everything. And like, I think I'm gonna have a good day eating. That's what I'm gonna say. There's so many options for tea. So thank you to my mum, Jackie, for calling me Talia. Okay guys, I have just finished my morning shift of work. I'm currently trying to find things that begin with a tea that I like and that I can get from Tesco. So, I've seen 35 things and um, I, I'm not really feeling anything if I'm being honest. We've got like trout, but I'm not like a massive fish fan. I like prawns, but they're a pea, so that's not useful. Um, tiramisu, I can have that for dessert, but cannot have that for lunch. I'm literally just Googling foods that begin with a tea. Okay guys, I'm literally not even gonna lie to you. I had all intentions of working out today, you know, I have my gym gear on, I was ready to go. However, I, I just actually can't be bothered. So I'm just about to go out to Tesco and try to find some food. I honestly have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna be able to get. We shall go and see and I'll update you guys with food haul when we're back. So guys, I've just got back from Tesco and I had a bit of a realization of, if I give you guys a food haul, like, Nothing that I eat for the rest of the day is going to be a surprise. So I'll give you a mini one that won't give away anything for later on. So I have my bag here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna have for lunch is, I've got some tandoori chicken, technically that counts. And I also got some tzatziki. Now my idea was to have this in a wrap. However, I'm kind of having something similar for dinner. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just eat this together and call it a day. I have to stack on whilst I'm deciding. I have a plethora. Actually, I can show you guys a few more things I picked up. Non-tea food related. A plethora of Twix things. So I don't think I've ever tried a white Twix before. 
had normal Twixes before, obviously. Let me know if you're a proper OG and you're around in 2018, I want to say. And I was obsessed with Twixes. If anyone remembers that, let me know. I used to literally buy like the massive ones like this and have one of those a day because, you know, YOLO. And I also bought these Twix tops which is what I actually want to try right now. These are my only things I'm used to put like my pack lunch and stuff. It just looks like this if no one's tried them before. I know people do like new snack videos. Maybe I should do them. A bit too much biscuit for me. Do you want to try some? Oh, interesting. My mum's here. Hey. <laughs> um, it's a bit too biscuity for me. We only ate a little corner of it, so. Mm. Very biscuity, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it is. I think it's meant to be a biscuit. Mm. Just a bit too much. Mm. I don't know if you've seen these yet, but I think I've seen them on like Facebook. Oh, wow. Have you seen them? No. Wanga look... Mama, chicken ramen, and a katsu curry. Oh, my God, to do it. Both of those are your favourite. Well, actually, the katsu well, curry is yeah, your favourite. Yeah, I've never had chicken ramen. I know Aiden likes. Were they expensive? Ramen, then. Um, I actually don't know. They were. They look great. They do, don't they? Mm. £3.30 each. Mm. Not bad. I suppose. Right, it's in my no, wrap. Well, my tortilla. A taste test. I mean, it tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it could have gone too badly, if I'm honest. Something to save us. Close, but we're strangers. Feel like we're far apart. just finished my lunch i'm full i'm feeling great probably gonna be snacking on a lot of twixes you guys can see what i've got you didn't see any of that um so yeah i'm gonna go and do some work and i'll talk to you guys when i eat like i said in every single video it's probably because every single video i'm showing you what i eat hello everyone i'm back and i'm eating again feel like, I don't know who actually does this, but I feel like I always leave it way too late to start cooking dinner. Like I wait for me to get hungry and then I want to eat straight away, but I have to cook my dinner. So and that's why we've got some chili tortilla chips for like today's like tortilla everything. And for some reason a tortilla just works, you know, it can be crispy, it can be soft. It's great. So these are from MS chili tortillas i keep on going to call them doritos but these are so good so much better than chili heat wave i mean if you like the spice chili heat wave doritos are probably the best but i don't really like spice and they're a bit spicy when you eat them but there's no aftertaste of spice which is what i like i don't like suffering after i finish eating i don't think i actually even told you guys i'm having did i tell you i'm having tacos for dinner i'm not too sure but we're having tacos for dinner we're having fish tacos when i say fish we've got like literally fish fingers in the oven cooking because you know i'm lazy and that's how it's gonna go today so yeah i'm gonna eat a few of these but try not to eat the whole pack and then we can have some dinner so we have our taco set up i thought i'd make them with you eat and make and talk at the same time have my i went for soft tacos this is what i was saying about the whole tortilla thing i don't want the crunchy ones so i got the soft ones there's a lot of tortillas being consumed, but that is okay. So we have, now, okay. All my fillings don't contain the letter T because I just thought that that would be a little bit too much. I know fish fingers are a bit of a weird choice, but I've got fish fingers. We've got some cucumber. I actually don't even know if this is even meant to all go in a taco. I'm just, you know, making up as I go. Some cucumber, a little bit of lettuce, and then for some sausage, there's this sriracha mayo. Mm, I mean, I normally have it on top of sushi, but I'm gonna put it on top of my taco. And hopefully, I mean, this looks pretty good, guys. I think I put way too much mayo when I got too taken away by how it actually looks like. Don't focus on my face, focus on the taco. I feel like that looks good. I feel like it's also gonna be hot. This is quite spicy. <laughs> We've had an update to our taco night. We've got some water to dull the spice and I also have now opted for a normal mayo. <laughs> Keep on holding 
things within me I keep it deep inside myself Right, I have one more taco to go and I'm trying to debate if I can fit it in right now or if I should wait. They have decided I'm gonna leave it and we shall be back later to eat it before dessert because I just I think I need a little bit of a break. You know that when you're hungry and then you eat and you're like too much. Hello everyone, it is now dessert time. Let me just set you guys up let's have a chat let's have a little eat so i have my look how cute this bowl is my tiramisu it fit one of the little sections in so perfectly obviously her own tiramisu for dessert haven't had tiramisu in what feels like the longest time my mum my mum oh my god she used to make the best tiramisu when i was younger i think the reason why i liked it is because she never soaked it in too much alcohol and too much coffee and obviously as a non-coffee drinker kid I appreciated that. However, I feel like this Tesco one could potentially be a little bit stronger. So we shall see. And obviously I drink coffee now. So that'll be exciting. I also grabbed our last Twix product. So this is the white Twix, which I'm really intrigued to try. So I've obviously never tried it before. Just a white Twix. Now I'm not the, like, I don't mind white chocolate, but it's not my favorite. Like I would take milk chocolate any day of the week and then white and then dark. So I'm really intrigued. I feel like white chocolate's really sweet. Does anyone else feel like that? It's actually quite nice. Oh no. Just dropped tiramisu on my joggers. Okay, let's give this a try. It's not horrendous. But I definitely prefer my mum's tiramisu. Although I would prefer a milk chocolate Twix, this definitely comes second in our Twix rankings of the day so obviously first on normal Twix then this one and then the Twix tops however should we have a little overview of today and how I felt eating the letter T for 24 hours overall I feel like it has been a pretty decent day like I feel like tea is a good letter to have and I feel like there probably is a lot more foods that I could eat so if you guys have any other ideas then let me know what they are what else I could have eaten today and also let me know what you guys would eat in correlation to the first letter of your name as well so guys Guys, that is the end of this video and I hope that you all did enjoy it if you did be sure to leave it a massive thumbs up comment down below what you thought and also let me know what other food challenges you guys want to see me do on my channel and yeah make sure you subscribe and I shall see you all very soon with you why do I make things complicated why do I lose all my control oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor